Okay, so I got my impact driver here. Impact driver, it looks like a drill, it is not a drill. It is its own specific tool. Impact driver and a drill are two different things in that. The impact driver is meant to drive in screws and lag bolts and things like that with ease. And it can, it's a lot more capable than a drill can do it, even a bigger drill. And also you can do it one-handed because of the way it functions. I don't want to get too much into that, but the difference between the impact driver and the impact wrench is uh, mostly there's, there's two things and one is a physical difference. The impact driver, they all have the same um, hex bit insert and that's the part where we're looking at here and that fits right into here. And then you put your drill bit in there for drilling uh, screws like Phillips screws or, or Torx screws or flatheads. Or you can put your um, sockets in there for uh, drilling in lag bolts. So that's the physical noticeable difference between the driver and the wrench. The impact wrench is the part that has just the square head on it on the tip of this here instead of the insert. And that's so you can, it's just meant to be used with sockets only. The impact wrench typically has more foot pounds of torque and probably twice as much as this actually for the about the same size, but this is more versatile as far as being able to use it because the part that you don't see is that the impact driver has uh, radial impact. So when there's a spinning hammer inside of the front head of this here, and when it starts to get uh, to the point where it has a lot of torque, the hammer starts engaging and it starts hammering it. And as it's doing that, it's able to drive it in further with a lot more torque. It also has radial impact. So as that hammer is doing that, it's basically being slipped back and then forward. So it's going, it's getting hammering impacts going forward and turning. And that's so that when you're using a Phillips head screw or any kind of screw or something like that, where it can cam out or strip out, that doesn't allow that to happen because it puts pressure forward as it's being driven. So it's kind of like I want to drill and you're putting pressure on the back of the drill, hold it in there so it doesn't strip it out with a lot of pressure. You don't have to do that with these. This just, it impacts it and it does it so quick you really don't even notice it. it stops from, from stripping out. The impact wrench does not have that. The impact wrench is just a spinning hammering action. It's meant for just working with um, things like nuts and bolts and stuff like that. I got this because it's more versatile. I can use it for automotive stuff, not heavy automotive work, nothing really with a lot of torque, but I'm gonna show you right here that you can actually take leg bolts off of a tire, and these are torqued to 89 foot-pounds. That's a pretty standard, maybe a little bit higher than some cars, a lot of cars are 80 foot-pounds. Things like trucks might have 110, and this tool can actually still take those off at 110 foot-pounds. I believe this has 120 foot-pounds of torque on it, and is very capable of loosening up or breaking free um, when it's taking stuff off, not so much when it's putting stuff on. So normally in a car, you would need to have a breaker bar around this size to take a leg or um, a lug nut off of a tire to, to rotate your tires or work on your car, do brakes, whatever. You need something around this length to be able to take it off. And you have to use, usually have to use two hands and put a lot of pressure on it. This here is not a breaker bar, this is a torque. Uh, a torque wrench so that I know exactly how much something is torqued up when I'm putting the lug nut on, but the breaker bar would be about the same size. Normally you have to use something this big to get the nut off. We're just going to use something this small to get it off. And not only that, normally if you're using a drill, a drill would never be able to do this. No matter how big or powerful the drill is, you'd never be able to torque off a lug nut off of a wheel. That's because of the way this works with the impacts, the hammering action that's going on as it's spinning. If you were to use a drill though, and it did have a lot of torque, when you use one hand on it, it would simply just torque and spin your hand and you could actually really hurt your hand or wrist. I've actually used drills at work that are bigger than this to try to drill in lag bolts that this thing would have no problem with one handed and then it gets to the point where it over torques and then it, what happens is, is you, bench, you twist your hand or your wrist in a certain way and it does it so quickly that you don't realize it's going to happen, it just happens, and then you hurt your hand. We're going to use this to take a lug nut off of a wheel one-handed with ease. So I'm going to insert the part of the socket in here, 
We're gonna take this off of here, we're gonna put it on here, and we're gonna take it off. Now that, there's no hammering action, that's just spinning at 3,000 rotations per second or a minute or whatever. So we put it on the lug nut here, and you can see I'm just using one hand. And it took off the lug nut with no problem. Normally I would have to do this. This is not meant for, for to be used as a breaker bar, but in order to take this off, see, I can actually move the car because this has so much torque to be able to take that lug nut off. And I can show you that I can take off another one. And you get that same one I was just using. One handed, no problem. No drill can do that. An impact driver or impact wrench, this is why it's an invaluable tool for things. And that means I can rotate tires or do brake jobs a lot quicker and a lot easier. I can take calipers off to do brakes a lot easier because sometimes you're getting in a tight spaces in there where you can't quite get an angle on the wrench you're using to get the torque that you need. That's why this thing here comes in handy.